Hello, today's video is on the Swede Tech Easy Clip tool. And uh, on our Easy Clip video, right before I showed you how to use the tool, we cut it off. And uh, customers keep reminding me, hey, how do we use this thing? So, this is the Easy Clip tool. It has a long, a long reach on it, they got, it has the handle on the back. And you'll notice the front of the tool is radius to match the clip. And then there's a little tooth here. The intention of the tooth is to catch the clip so you don't launch it across the parking lot or the track paddock area. And then this little peg here is for pushing the clip off. So I'm just using the postcard just because there's some contrast between the tool and the engine. Uh, so that way you can see it a little better. So if you have uh, one of the sprockets that's lightweight, where it's machined, and it also has a flat side, you want the flat side facing outward. If you're using our Road Race Easy Clip system, you want to make sure there's a washer between the OEM spacer and the gear itself. So there will be a washer here for the Road Race version. So again, flat side out. You want to take the clip. The clip is beveled. So you want to make sure when you install the clip that there is spring tension against the sprocket. That's going to push on the little spacer on the counter shaft. And behind that, that is an O-ring. And that will help keep everything seated properly without splashing out oil. So again, the bevel. You're going to have three points touching on the sprocket. If it's easy to push on and the clip looks like it's away like this away from the sprocket then you install it upside down so we have the clip the tool clip and then you just want to give it a little tap double check that it is fully seated with the three prongs on the, once this is installed in the go-kart, it's going to be hard just to reach your hand in there and check it all out. But it should be nice and firm. There should be not slop. Check your sprocket to make sure it's not waving back and forth or wobbling. So you want it to be nice and firm. You want that spring tension between the sprocket, the counter shaft bushing, and that O-ring to keep everything nice and tight. So that part's easy, the, the on. Now to take it off, when everything's installed, I like to rotate the clip so the top of the clip is in the 9 o'clock position. You're going to take this little tit. That's right, I said tit. And that is going to go on the inside of the clip. So that little tit goes on the inside of the clip between the bushing and the clip. And you're just going to give it a light tap. And it's captured. You're going to pull this away. And then you can make a gear change. So, again, that is the Sweet Tech Easy Clip tool. You can buy it at shopsweettech.com.